Welcome to Security Analytics in Open Search. Today I'm going to walk through and show you how to create a basic security analytics detector for all of your security information and event management needs. Security Analytics provides threat monitoring, detection, and alerting features to help users detect and investigate potential security threats that may disrupt your business operations. It comes pre-packaged with over 2200 open source Sigma rules, which can help users find these potential threats from security event logs in real time. In today's walkthrough, we'll take a hypothetical example to see how security analytics can fit your business needs. Let's say we want to take preventative measure and be alerted if an attacker who has somehow obtained the security permission on other users is now changing a user's password which is used to log into their AWS console. Using security analytics, we can monitor if anyone is changing passwords on the behalf of other users and also be alerted in real time if this event were to occur. To begin, we'll first configure our CloudTrail log index. This is the index where all of your CloudTrail logs are ingested into. Then we'll go ahead and create our detector using the interface. First, we'll name our detector IAM Password Detector then we'll select our data source to point to the index that we just created. And finally, we will select CloudTrail as our log type. Here are all of the prepackaged CloudTrail rules that we can use to configure our detector with. For our scenario, we will use AWS user login profile was modified. This rule was specifically written to detect whether or not someone has changed a password on the behalf of other users. And you can see under the detection section here what the condition is for this rule. Our field mappings are automatically generated for us, so this matches what field we have in our index to what field we're using in the rule. We can also choose how frequently we want this detector to run. Is configurable in minutes, hours, and days. We'll keep this at one minute for now. Next, we'll set up our trigger. We can specify the trigger condition based on what rule names, rule severities, or tags we want to be notified on. For our scenario, we'll leave this as default for now. We can also specify what alert severity we want the notification under. Again, we'll leave this as default. And lastly, we can choose the notification channel in which we want our alert to be sent to. Congrats, your detector is now created. We will go back to insert a test CloudTrail log that matches the conditions in the Sigma rule to generate a finding. Here, we will insert the CloudTrail log and after a minute, we'll see a finding generated containing the document that the finding was generated with, as well as a notification in the channel we set up. And here is our finding. And if we click here, we can see the index, the document, and the rule details that generated the finding. We can also see in the notification channel the alert that was generated when the finding appeared. It includes the name of the trigger condition, the severity, the detector, as well as the index that we configured the detector with. And congrats, you've just created a security analytics detector to monitor, detect, and alert of potential security threats.